one of the greatest butchering knives. The cold steel folding uh, or pocket Bushman. You can't make it bend. That's how you release it. But it's great for taking animals' heads off. Easy does it. This one I'm gonna actually bury and save the skull. On, uh, I'm gonna gut this out and portion it up, and we're gonna save that for some food. So stay tuned. Invaluable EMS shears. cut right through that pelvic bone. You own one leg? the diaphragm. Right here. Gotta be careful. There's a little gallbladder. It's nice if we can reuse this for coyote bait and traps. Look at that liver. Super healthy looking liver. Right there. What you don't want to do is hit that uh, sack. But look, look how healthy that is. I'm just gonna cut right around that gall bladder there. I want that bile coming out. Stomach. Let's see what he's eating. fur in there. It's been eating on rabbit or something. Look at that.
It's eating some kind of animal. And those of you who are never cut open a coyote stomach, it smells about as disgusting as you think it's going to smell. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. It smells like rotting animal and rotting animal. Unfortunately for me, just make sure you're on. Unfortunately for me, and uh, fortunate for the coyote, uh, that 308 went straight through its heart. And I said, unfortunately for me, because I like eating the heart, and uh, I don't get to. Coyote backstrap. Looks no different than a deer or any other animal. And contrary to what I've heard in other videos, it does not smell that bad. Stomach contents, terrible. One of the best uses of your trap axe and my awesome Wetterlings Forester's Fine Axe, which I believe they have just discontinued, is chopping off the last little bit of the feet. that we'll put in that bag for that meat. So the ultimate question, shrub crafters, is do you think coyotes will eat coyotes in their traps? 